So, what we're going to do is we're going to change out the electrical infrastructure in both of my rooms. So in my computer room, we have a 42 inch Kmart JMP fan on just a single light switch. So I'm low in reverse. This was a $10 buy. Take it to high. $10. It's a piece of shit. It's one of the worst vintage fans I've ever worked with because of that. It also doesn't move much air and it wobbles. It also just doesn't seem to have much longevity at all. It pushes more air than a modern thing, that's for damn sure, but it's not a very good fan. It's got a 75 watt incandescent bulb in it. Came with it. And in my personal bedroom, this Kmart fan. This one happens to be a mid-80s SMC Emperor model with a floral globe. This one is a decent fan. Doesn't spin too fast, but it pushes some air. Wobbles a little bit. Not a bad fan. I like the style. They're in reverse because it's winter time. But we're going to give it an upgrade. We're going to go from some mediocre quality fans to some good quality fans. So right here, you see two Hunter fans. That one is the Summer Breeze that I made a video of before with the light kit. That one is a 52 inch Mayfair 4 blade. This one was a let go find. For, I, pay, I got two of them for 30 bucks but one of them had a bad capacitor. And this I found on the side of the road put together minus a globe. Plugged it up, works beautifully. This one is 52 inch and it's from 1989. It's a low profile. This one is 48 inch. It's from 1986. I'd imagine you could mount this with a down rod, but that's not how I found it. Mounting bracket was included. This has the straight tipped, uh, just cherry blades. This has the 52 inch pointed tip cherry blades, but it's a different cherry finish. It's more orange and it has a wood color on the other side. I like the wood color, but in this instance, since these are going to go up near each other, I'm doing the red. So you would think that the bigger one would go in the bigger room. Well, actually no. This room is about 12 by 13. This room is about 13 by 13. So yeah, even though this is a bigger room, this room is almost always colder than this room because I have two computers, sometimes three running. So I'm actually going to put the bigger fan in here because like I said, it always gets hotter. This globe actually was on the summer breeze when I got it. It wasn't on that particular one because that particular one had a five-way globe with some absolutely hideous beveled glass shades that are breaking and it was in here for a while so this is actually going to go in here with that globe this did not come with a globe so i'm just going to put on this generic schoolhouse so let's get started the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the easier one of the two, which is this one. This one is very difficult. You need two people for it because the wiring, you have to wire while holding the fan. There's no way for the fan to support itself on the ceiling without being held in place. And it's not like a ball socket fan like that where you can just rest it. Nope. So that's why I have two ladders out because I'm going to have someone help me. And the bulbs that are going to go in these are these General Electric 75 watt incandescent bulbs that only use 53 watts. They're halogen. This is the best you can buy because I don't like LEDs or CFLs. But this is the best thing you can find instead of incandescent nowadays. So that's what's going to go in them. So, may we say, 
can install 48-inch Hunter Summer Breeze fan now?